Hey, what's up everyone and welcome to another video and of course it is Sunday that means we gotta do the box office wrap up baby and of course this weekend we had a big movie a big movie come out and nothing really else I mean we had the second weekend of Deadpool 2 Avengers was still hanging around uh, the second weekend of show dogs gotta see how well that did um, but of course the big movie for this weekend was Solo a Star Wars Solo which of course this is his second solo movie in the solo Star Wars franchise. Sorry, I'm, I'm really I got solo on the brain. Uh, Star Wars franchise. It's, it's the fr the second. Oh, I'm getting confused. It's the second solo standalone. Wait, no, it's the second standalone so No, no solo. It's the second standalone Star Wars movie. And but this one's called Solo. The other one was called Rogue One. That guy figured it. I figured it out, guys. Uh, and a lot of people were like, "This movie's not gonna do well." Like months ago, I remember months ago before the trailer even came out, I was just like, "This comes out in May." Like we just had, first of all, we just had the Last Jedi. The Last Jedi was still in theaters when I was thinking about where. When are we getting a trailer for that Han Solo movie? Are they gonna push it back? They they should push it back. I was thinking they should just push it back to like November or December. Just say screw it, put it back in Christmas, um, because. Not much marketing, like a Star Wars movie usually gets months and months of like trailers and marketing and stuff like that, and like, you know, like at some talk at the Star Wars celebration or whatever, you know, like, we didn't get any of that for Solo, they were trying to sweep this bitch under the rug, <laughs> like, they didn't give a fuck, um, so this movie was like, months before it even came out, I was like, it's gonna open up to like maybe 60, 70 million for the weekend. Like, I, I don't know. I don't see this doing even close to as well as Rogue One. I mean, it has, it's it's called Solo, sure, but, they're like, there's no marketing right now. You got three months. By the time they released the trailer, they had three and, like, a half months to market it. Uh, and also, it came out right after Deadpool 2 and Avengers and right before stuff like Jurassic World. Like, it's sandwiched in between all this other stuff that I think more people are going to be enjoying than the solo movie because the solo movie had a lot of problems in the the behind the scenes i don't know i i just didn't see this movie doing well so with all that being said how well did the movie do this weekend in both america and worldwide um or foreign i should say and then worldwide you know what i meant um so let's find out a lot of people were saying 120 million 110 million for the three-day weekend 140 million for the four-day weekend 100 million me, I was thinking because of all the tracking, I was thinking around 110 million for the four day weekend. That was my prediction for the four day weekend. Um, for the three day, I was saying like maybe 90, 95. That, that made sense to me. Something like Justice League. That makes sense for Solo. You know, something like Justice League, where Justice League had a huge amount of problems, obviously, on, on the behind the scenes and stuff. Like they had to cut shit down and recast directors and stuff just like solo so i was thinking around 90 million for the three-day weekend and then 110 for like the four day so how much did it make well it made ooh, made less than 90 million <laughs> it made 83 million dollars in america uh the four-day weekend uh is not out yet the predictions are are not out yet uh i can only assume that uh it's just gonna be a few million more it might reach 100 million we'll see we'll see how well it does on monday people are off so maybe they wanted to go see it with families or whatever on monday so maybe this movie will do well on uh monday we'll see it could drop even more this this movie could be gone by the next weekend like they're pulling it out of theaters all right fuck it put uh what's next week put um uh uh, I don't know, uh, Ocean's 8, does that come out next week? Put that in, fuck it. Get get this solo boy out of here, no one gives a fuck. <laughs> Put it on one solo screen, screw it. So, uh, yeah, this, this movie's is, uh, this movie's not doing well. <laughs> it costs almost $300 million to make also, which is one of the most expensive movies ever, just like Justice League. So, to all the people that are like, oh, everybody picks on uh, Warner Brothers and DC and stuff, you know what, here we go. Disney fucked up too, because Disney had two great directors, in my opinion, Phil Lord and Chris Miller. Watch any of their movies that they have directed and wrote in the past. They have done excellent jobs. Um, 21 Jump Street, 22 Jump Street, great films, really funny. Uh, the Lego Movie, directed and wrote, great film. Um, Cloudy with Chance and Meatballs, that was like the first movie I, I believe they did. Great film too, really funny. Um, what else? Uh... The Last Man on Earth, which just got canceled, sadly, but I heard it was a great show. 
Uh, what else? I think there's some else. I don't remember though. But um, they've they've done some great stuff. They've proved themselves. So they were making like a comedy or some shit. Like that's pretty much what Disney said. They were making a spoof. I kind of want to see that version because that sounds at least original than what we saw. Solo was just you know it was a, it was a Star Wars movie it had Star Warsy shit in it. It was fun. It's not memorable, but it was fun. Uh, would I like to see it again? Yeah. Yeah, I guess we'll see it one more time before it disappears from theaters in about five days. I know the movie's doing $83 million. That doesn't mean it's going to disappear. And it might even do well on its second weekend. We'll see. But um, Solo, yeah, it didn't do well in America. $83 million. That's way less than anybody thought. Even me, with my like astronomically low expectations. <laughs> now. Now. Let's get to the foreign. Holy shit. It made $65 million in foreign box office. That means this movie, combined with its American weekend, if you combine it together, it made $148 million this weekend. That means it didn't even get... It was $7 million away from Rogue One's opening weekend in America. Not worldwide. Rogue One, I believe, made over $300 million in its first weekend worldwide. But, or at least close to it, this movie could even get to $150 million, which most people thought it was going to make for the weekend in America alone. But it couldn't even get to that with worldwide grosses, which that is fucking terrible. Especially since in overseas, it opened in China, which, by the way, the Chinese don't give a fuck about Star Wars. Let me just say, they don't give a goddamn. They don't care. They're like, what is this? I don't give a fuck. Where's my mermaid movie? They don't give a shit. They just want to see what the, whatever they make, or they want to see giant robots, or they want to see Dwayne Johnson with an ape. You know? It, it didn't even do as well as A Quiet Place last weekend. Like, fuck, man. <laughs> China don't give a shit. So I don't even think it made $10 million in China. I don't even know how much it made. I think like nine, something like that. So it couldn't even get to $10 million in China. The second biggest, and some people would say the first biggest market for movies, couldn't even get $10 million. Wow. Uh, so $65 million in most markets it's open, by the way. Not just China. I think there's a couple that didn't open yet. But for the most part, most of the major markets open day and date of America. So this is, um, it ain't looking good, guys. It's not looking good for this. Especially since it costs a lot of money. You can at least say this. Justice League, while it didn't do that great in America, it did do pretty well foreign-wise. It made like over $400 million in foreign grosses. So right there, that actually helped cover a lot of the expenses, expenses that they paid for with the, um, the budget. Does that make sense? But uh, I don't think it does. But you know what I mean. Uh, it, it, it made a lot more in foreign than it did in America. Here it's not even going to make as much in America, I don't think. And in America it's not doing well. So, uh-oh. I don't know. This might be the first legit Star Wars bomb ever. And that's weird because most Star Wars movies do at least moderately okay even that clone wars animated movie it costs like fucking nothing to make so even though it made like 30 million dollars i think it only costs like 10 million to make so right there that's not even a bomb so i'm talking about the, the shitty cg animated clone wars movie that movie sucked i heard the show is better that movie sucked and it was definitely disappointing considering it came out right after that fucking great gendy tartakovsky um uh mini series i guess not even many series. It was like actual like regular episode length. I mean not episode length, like season length of episodes. Like there was a bunch of episodes, but they're only like four or five minutes each. So I guess you could say it's a mini series. I don't know. You can finish it all in like two hours. It's great. Watch it, please. Please. It's so good. If you want some great Star Wars stuff that you haven't seen yet, watch that. Especially since now I guess all the prequel shit is actually implemented into the Disney universe. Um I thought they were going to try to get away from that shit, but I guess not. Uh, but anyway, it did not do well. That's the that's the main point of this video. But what else didn't do well? Uh, surprisingly enough, Deadpool 2 dropped pretty fucking big. As you can see, 66% drop. That is huge. The first Deadpool, I don't think, I think it had like a 56% drop. I could be wrong, but I know it didn't drop as, not even close to as big as Deadpool 2 did. Um... A 57% drop. So it dropped hard in its second weekend. Now, you can blame Solo a little bit for this. Because it still made $83 million. You know, people were still seeing it. It's not like no one saw Solo. 
Um, and I, I, I keep seeing all these pictures like, look at the theater, it's all empty for Solo. I mean, it made $83 million. There's no way your theater was completely empty unless your theater just sucks. My theater wasn't empty. I went to go see it in a shitty theater. Like, I, that was the only place I could go because everywhere else was sold out. So, Solo was still being seen. So, all these pictures are like, you fucking, no one's watching it, Kennedy, Kennedy, you fucked up Star Wars. I'd rather have a million of these before another prequel ever. Uh, you know what I'm talking about, the episode 1, 2, and 3. I'd rather have this and The Last Jedi before I see another prequel. Because those movies are fucking boring. They're bad Star Wars movies. I I've said before they're not bad movies because they have a lot of good things going for them. So they can't technically be bad movies if they have a lot of good things going for them. Uh, there's some really good scenes in pretty much each of those episodes. Um, but uh, they're bad Star Wars movies. That's for damn sure. <laughs> That's for damn sure. When you're just sitting around talking about fucking like jedi politics i'm like what the fuck is this what <laughs> like this works for star trek this don't work for fucking star wars bitch bitch but anyway uh deadpool 2 dropped 66 percent to be fair if this movie could stop making money right now it would could be considered a success it, it has, has already made by the way it made 42.7 million in its second weekend but um it already made over for uh 200 million dollars in america Almost five hundred million dollars worldwide, and it's not stopping yet. I'm sure it'll cross around six six hundred fifty. Maybe it'll get close to seven hundred. We'll see. I, I think it could probably get over seven hundred. And if it does, then that's a huge success considering the budget was one hundred ten. I'm sure the marketing was no more than maybe one hundred fifty. So right there, bam, it already made its money back. Um, so the movie could stop now, and we'll be good. We'll still get Deadpool shit. Um, that X Force movie, I'm sure we will get it. But uh, they they made a good. They, their decision of not doing another Deadpool movie and doing X Force makes complete sense. I I totally understand why they're gonna do it because I I think Fox predicted this movie wasn't gonna do as well as the first movie, so they're like, well, we need to open up the universe a little bit more. Um, so let's let's get all these X Force guys in there, and in the next movie we'll have more X Force dudes. Um, Deadpool two was a lot of fun. It was a really fun movie. So was Solo. Solo was a lot of fun too. I I don't really give a shit if the movie itself isn't extremely re uh, memorable. What memorable? As long as it's fun. Speaking of fun, Avengers: Infinity War uh, only dropped forty four percent. Everybody was like, "Oh man, Avengers is gonna drop quick after uh, Deadpool two and Solo came uh, come out." And Solo underperformed, and Deadpool two dropped huge in its second weekend. Now, Avengers, Avengers has been out for what six weeks at this point? Five weeks? Five weeks, I believe. And uh, nope. No, it ain't dropping. It ain't going nowhere, baby. Yeah, five weeks. So it ain't going nowhere. It only dropped forty-four percent, which is pretty damn good considering what the number one and number two were. Uh, and it made sixteen point four million. It has also passed one point nine billion dollars. So you know what that means. Last week it made in the last week it made a hundred million dollars worldwide. I think we're gonna get that two billion, baby. I think Avengers is gonna make two billion. Um, it's been doing extremely well. And I, I'm proud of it because I love that movie. I really do. I think it's a great film. Um, number four, Book Club. I love this movie too. I mean, I just like old people. You know, they deserve their own movie, right? It's doing well too. Only dropped thirty percent. Good job. You fought off Thanos. I mean, not fought him off because you're number four and Thanos is number three, but you did a good job. <clears throat> okay. <laughs> you know, it'd be funny if uh, I saw people posting pictures like, oh. Uh, there's nobody in Solo, but if I go to book club, I bet there's going to be people there. I, yeah, I'm sure. Actually, I'm actually sure that's probably true. Because a lot of people show up for these kind of movies, or at least around here. Um, I went to go see Breaking In. No, not Breaking In. I'm sorry. There was nobody in there. What was the movie I saw recently that was like old people-centric? I forgot what it was, but there was a lot of people in there. I was like, whoa, okay. Um, I forgot what it was. Anyway, number five, Life of the Party. Uh, five million. All right, they dropped only 32%. Good for you. Uh, breaking in, speaking of, only 40% drop. Good. Number seven, Show Dogs, 3 million. There you go. He only dropped four, almost 49%. That's pretty good. I might, I have to go see this soon, especially since it's about, it's about to get like banned or some shit because there's a part where like the dog gets touched or something. I don't know. Uh, so, so there's somewhere in this movie. Uh, which I think I think they show that in the trailer, so I don't know why now all of a sudden oh now it's bad even though it's been in the trailer for like months. But okay, uh, number eight, Overboard, which that movie's doing extremely well. I think that almost makes almost made fifty million at this point. No, forty one million. Okay, so if it slowly stays in there, it might make fifty. Um, a Quiet Place has made 
2.2 million in its uh, eighth week, and it's almost at 180 million. So there you go. Uh, and number 10 is RBG again. My boy RBG, which I guess RBG actually switched places because last weekend when I did this, it was number 10. But when the actuals came out, I think it actually dropped a couple places, which I think I said might have happened or wouldn't might happen. Does it, that doesn't make any sense. You know what I mean? Like it, when the actuals came out, that that is a possibility because it was so close to the other ones. Uh, it was so close to 11 and 12 when it came to it came to the predictions. Uh, that made sense, but it, it's back at number 10 at least for now until the actuals come out. Um, so good job. I heard that RBG movie is really good. I might actually watch that. It's not in my theaters, but I'll watch it when it comes out. I guess on like video. Uh, what else is worth mentioning? Uh, Black Panther is number 14, made another $453,000. It is $1.42 million away from making $700 million in domestic. If Disney was smart, they would re-release Black Panther soon. Say, like, this is the big push, guys. Like, even, like, do something special. Like, uh, I don't know. Uh... I don't know, put it in black and white like Logan. <laughs> there, you <go. laughs> there you go. That's a special release. <laughs> I don't know. I can't, I can't even think what they could do special. Um, uh, I don't know. I can't I can't think of a fucking thing. I guess you could do it like a double feature of Avengers, but they, I don't know. I don't think people would turn up. Just say like this is the, the last, last uh, like ditch effort to make it past 700 million dollars just say that disney and people be like all right yeah yeah yeah, we'll do that uh i'd even buy a ticket uh actually no shit i would have to actually buy a ticket actually it's not even my theater anymore so i wouldn't be able to do that unless they bring it back in theaters obviously but uh all right so that's the top 10 uh anything else i need to mention uh uh, let's see deadpool 2 is at almost 500 million uh worldwide show dogs is at uh whoa it's at almost two billion dollars that's fucking crazy Good job on that. Uh, Rampage passed 500, right? No, 400. It passed 400 million. Mostly because of China. Good job, China. <laughs> you saved another one. Uh, <laughs> I actually liked Rampage. I don't, I, don't even, I don't even know why I'm giving it shit. Like, I liked it in like a goofy way. It wasn't a good movie, but I enjoyed it. Um, yeah, so there you go. That's it. I guess we should take a look at the poll that I did. Of course, I always do a poll. You know me, baby. I like me I like me some polls. God, I'm just gonna stop doing these. These are horrible. Um, so let's go check out the poll, baby. Alright. <laughs> Here you go. Thank you to everybody that liked that photo. Um I'm oh I'm close to nineteen thousand subscribers, people. That's nice. Uh how much do you think solo a Star Wars solo will make in its solo weekend solo? Uh and a lot of people I mean, obviously all these are wrong. <laughs> Well, actually, not all these wrong. The last one is actually kind of correct. One solo dollar. I mean, one solo dollar actually translates to $83 million in regular money. So, actually, I am, or we were correct when I put that. So, there you go. That's that's how you do it. Yeah. <laughs> but, um, thank you, everybody, that voted for this. Uh, here's all the comments. Let's look at them. <laughs> I, I don't think I looked at most of these, actually. So, I, I might get some, like, a... Uh, some battlefield uh, leftover comments from that battlefield reaction with fucking cuck. Alright. <laughs> One solo dollar sure ain't gonna getting mine. Who asked for a solo movie? Shit like give me a Darth Maul movie, a Kenobi movie, or a Star Killer movie. Star Killer, yeah, from Force Awakens. I mean Force Unleashed. I always do that. Uh don't tell me the odds. <laughs> One solo dollar translates to 100 donger bills, which translates to $100,000. I don't want to... It only make $100,000. That's not... That ain't good. <laughs> only solo Star Wars solo can make a single solo dollar. That solo dollar is mathematically equivalent to $3 billion opening weekend, so I'm expecting it gets around 10 solo dollars. Oh, okay. I thought it was like... It translates to $83 million, but all right. So, we were wrong then. It only made... It only made $83 billion. I mean... What? Um, I am interested. It has piqued my interest. I don't get people why they say they're done with Star Wars when a thousand more will be made for them to love or hate. Also, Star Wars, it will make a shit ton of money in the box office. You would think so. But, uh, oddly enough, new. Uh, as much as this isn't the movie I wanted, I'm super pumped seeing it later today. One solo dollar, Belch. Uh, Dong Lover Pando. Okay. There you go. 
uh, they should make a make make a dong a dong Star Wars movie. I don't know who Dong is. I'm assuming they're talking about Dick, but Dong does sound to be fair like Dongo, Dongo or Pando do sound like Star Wars characters. Um, so anyway, or Donger, it's not Dongo, <laughs> Donger, Donger sounds like a Star Wars character. They should make a Donger solo movie <laughs> so, and a Pando. I'm done. So anyway, there you go. Thank you. Until next time. Goodbye.